Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at outlining text as a sort of grouped object rather than as individual characters. So not this, yes to this. But we're going to do it as a live text effect so that the text can be edited. Before we begin, I have other Illustrator courses at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there is a referral link for each one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share this with family, friends, and co-workers. Let's swing back to Illustrator, and I'm going to create a brand new document, so I'll choose File and then New. My document's going to be 1920 by 1080. You can make yours however big you like. I'm going back to that same word, happy, so let's just type happy. I'll go to the Selection tool and hold the Shift key as I enlarge the type. I'm going to use a joined up font just simply because it's going to make it easier to see what's going on here. So I have a font here called Cream Puff that I'm using. Now if I add a stroke to this type, let me go and get a sort of turquoise stroke and make it a reasonable size and make my type the pink color that I want it to be. You can see that I've got problems here and the problems are that the individual letters have this stroke around them and that the stroke isn't going over the entire text object, it's just being picked up around individual letters. Now if we want that not to be the case, the solution is pretty easy. We'll open up the Appearance panel with the type selected by going to Window and then Appearance. Oh, I've lost my type, let's just go and select it again because this is what your Appearance panel should look like. You shouldn't be able to see the fill and the stroke and the reason for that is that the fill and stroke are in the Characters area. So let's just go into this, I'm going to double click and I'm going to turn the stroke off and I'm going to turn the fill off. So effectively we're removing the fill and the stroke from this type so we've got nothing at all. We've got type, we just can't see it. So clicking out of that and going back into this type area, we can now add our fill and stroke and that's going to make a really big difference. So I'm going to click down here and add a new fill. Now I'm going to change my fill to a fill color of my choice. And I'm going to add a stroke color. I'm going to make that a sort of turquoise blue and I'll make it a bit thicker too. But you can see that we've got the exact same problem as we had in the Characters panel, but we also have the possibility for a solution this time. Because if we go to the Characters panel, you'll see that you can't drag the stroke underneath the fill, so you can't rearrange the order of these two attributes for your type. But if you go to the Type panel and add your stroke and fill that way, you can reorder them. And so you can take the stroke and you can drag it underneath the fill. And when you do that, the type is being treated as a single object. The line is going behind the fill here. Now you can also drag it below characters, and so you're going to get the same result there. So you can take it below characters, or you can just take it below the fill. Now I've got a slight bump in here. There's a little bump off the end of the letter P. Well, if I select the stroke and adjust the joins, then I'm going to get rid of that. And because the stroke width was wider when we had it in front of the type, let's just put it back there, you can see it's much wider there. If we want that nice wider stroke, then we'll just need to increase the width having placed the stroke behind the type instead of in front of it. So anytime that you want to have a piece of type treated as a single object so that the stroke is outlining everything instead of outlining individual letters, that's how you're going to do it. And of course the appearance panel itself is key to doing that. So you want to be able to select your type and show the appearance panel by going to Window and then Appearance. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.